the Jamma Pro Overview and it should open up to this home page of the sampler and if we click right up here it'll bring up our uh, metronome let's just speed things up a little here how about that switch to click and there's a whole video on the metronome which you can check out later we come all over to the gear all the way over to the right we have a few settings that um, you might want to keep on like I have here um, background audio mode and ultra low latency it's going to help um, so there's no delay when we uh, play the instrument so I just leave set those set to on Then we've got the store and jam up plug this will take you to the website where you can buy this uh, 20 bucks and uh, plug right in for 20 bucks pretty good these are the new amp models that have come out uh, with 1.3 uh, silver 120 and tweed lux Black Lux, Acoustic, RB101, Lead 900, OR30, you'll hear in a minute, Tube Power, 5153, you'll definitely hear that. Uh, new Effects, Echo Delay, Metal MT, Black Op, the old Proco Rat, which I had the original one that I sold on eBay, which I never did. Uh, multi Head, same thing there, had, I had an old Space Echo, sold that, but now I've got one here. Room Reverb, Vibrato, Noise Filter, Reverse, Rotary L, Sustain Comp, Booster, Auto Wah, Tube Comp, some great effects there. And they've got some bundles going right now. Um, three of them, the Effects Bundle, Classic Bundle, and Metal and you're probably just going to want to buy all three of those okay uh, moving on uh, the next thing would be uh, the tuner here and get my guitar plugged in here really nice the way it sh stops right there if I detune that a little you'll see what I mean that that bottom row we just go right to E love the way that does that goes right to B for me G. You can certainly have all drop tunings or any kind of tunings that you come up with and it's going to find them for you. So nice tuner. Back to our sampler. Uh, we could load up a track here by hitting load and we'll pick this uh, funk track right here. Hit play. And you can try out some of your ideas before you record things. And say, so, yeah, I think I like that. So I think I'll try a dub. Just hit a dub there. You see, I changed my idea. Now let's see how it sounds. Yeah, I love the way that did that. <laughs> so that's like all day long playing around with that thing. And we're going to have a whole video on that. Uh, here's the jam section. Same thing, we'll load up a track. This Dorian Mode Jam will kick in. We swipe that, it starts at the beginning. And I'll just jam over that a little. I know, it's hard to stop playing. Um, there's going to be a whole video on that. Here's our presets, and it will come with all these. Um, I've changed uh, most of mine to the new amps. Like here's the 5153 that I have set up. That 
with Jimmy Pager. <laughs> black face sound here for like a blues beautiful the chorus thing At the end of these, you can see all the presets. Um, these last two, D3 and D4, came empty, so um, you could create your own first two presets without having to overwrite anything else. Just got a nice clean sound with that new 120. I have no idea how they got that to sound that good, but they did. And uh, like set your soul kind of a sound here. All kinds of great stuff. And then we go a little deeper here. Uh, we're going to have a whole video on this also in the advanced. Is we can um, edit each individual thing that's made up into each preset. So here's our overdrive off. Overdrive on. Just bring up everything that you want to change and just change the volume. Bring up the delay and change that. Uh, take it off if you want. Put it back on. And so there we have it. There's the overview. Uh, we're going to go into some other uh, things more in depth with other videos. Alright, we're going to take a look at this sampler here, and we're going to load in a track. All we have to do is pick load, and pick the track you want to load in there. That's it. And let's hear how she sounds. Get a volume for your loop. Let's say it's about like that. Alright, so let's overdub a track. There we go, let's see how she sounds. Alright, sounds pretty good. So usually what I do now is I save that and I'll just add a little to that. I'll put uh, guitar one here. Done. Done. That way if I make a mistake on my next overdub all I have to do is load that one up and I'll be good to go. Beautiful. Alright. So let's do another track here. Play. Dub. go see how that sounds mm -hmm. 
So that's not quite what I want. So because I saved that other track, I can load that up now. Four track, big hair four track with a guitar right here. Now here it is again. And I can reload and put ready for my next track. Okay, we're ready to do another overdub here. Stop that. Now I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, we're ready for another overdub here. Okay, so now we've got our tracks on there. Let's take a listen to our final tracks. That's it, not too bad, not too bad. So we've saved that, anytime we want to work on it again, we've got all four versions of that. Just bass and drums, then guitar one, then guitar two, and now guitar three, and so um, that's one of the beauties of doing this. All right.